Here you're looking at an unstable luteal phase with progesterone dropping far too early. This is actually my own chart. My progesterone started dropping three days ago. How do I know? Well, when you look at my BBT chart, my temperature has been sliding down from a nicely high 36.82, I think it was, up to 36.54 this morning. From that alone, I know I will get my period probably tonight or tomorrow, which makes it a 26-day cycle if I get it tomorrow morning. Now, this month, I have no idea when I ovulated because I didn't measure consistently and I've only just restarted charting again because... Why? Because I'm a nerd and I like data and it's not because I want to get pregnant because I'm done. Two kids and it's done and dusted. But I want to see where my hormones are because basal body temperature tells you a lot about what's going on in your body, hormonally, thyroid health, iron deficiency can be seen. Now, when you look at my chart, you will also see another drop a few days earlier. You might be surprised what actually caused that. First of all, I slept terribly. But why did I sleep terribly? Now, the day before I ate something I shouldn't have, I ate half a bag of corn chips. Corn chips are probably every now and then my downfall. Now, at the moment, I'm running on high stress and they are through the roof. And I just, unfortunately, probably, if I'm honest to myself, used that food to soothe myself. And that did not help my sleep because it spiked inflammation and it spiked as well. My blood sugars at night just wasn't what I needed. And my temps dropped and my gut reacted. So let's just say I was best friends with the toilet the next day. <laughs> now, because my diet is probably to 98% clean, my body now reacts immediately to foods and oils it doesn't like and it clears them out very quickly, which is absolutely great and also great feedback. Now, I'm going to keep measuring now because I want to understand my own patterns a little bit better and what's happening in my perimenopausal body. And if you'd like me to give an interpretation of your charts and post them here and I might pick a few and walk, walk you through what I see.